Hi, this is Ken, and I'd like to take a moment to review using the LifePak 20 to defibrillate a patient. Just like we learned in BLS, if you find the patient down, one of your first concerns is going to be high quality CPR. So while you're doing compressions and you've called out to that first person, bring me the crash cart and the AED, this is what's going to arrive, your LifePak 20. When it arrives, the first thing that you'll do, just like in BLS training, is to turn the AED on. It's then going to prompt you on the next direction. Please don't waste time hooking up individual electrodes with the EKG cable. We don't need that right now. What we need is a quick combo cable that's going to allow us to receive patient information and deliver th electrical therapy if necessary. It's telling me to push analyze because in proper storage mode, it's connected to a test plug. So it thinks it's connected to a patient right now. When I get this for my patient, I need to pull it out of the test plug and then it will go to the next connect electrode prompt, which I will then connect my quick combo patches as per the illustrated directions on each patch and plug into here. So once I get that on my patient and I've connected it, it's then again going to tell me to push analyze and I've met a crossroads. For the BLS trained nurse, now I can go ahead and push analyze and let the LifePak 20 do its thing. Or for the ACLS nurse, I can go into manual mode by pushing this and opening this door, exposing all the advanced functions. And as you'll see, this also brings up the patient's real time rhythm. This is obviously, since I said the patient is pulseless, a shockable rhythm. We have VTAC here. And we want to shock this within two minutes, so we shouldn't still be talking about it. The first thing that we want to do to shock this patient is charge up. We see that it's already set to 200 joules preset, and we're going to go ahead and charge. Once it's charged, you're going to hear that alarm that is, is available to shock. And it gives you the prompt to hit the correct button. This is the point where you need to say, I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear. And once everyone is off of and away from the patient and the bed, you're going to deliver that charge. And it will tell you that that shock has been delivered. And hopefully in this case, we will have broken that VTAC and see uh, something more resembling a sinus rhythm. If not, depending on the other ACLS providers, you may again shock at 200 joules or you may decide to change energy you can go up in energy with subsequent shocks but you should never go down so if there is a decision to increase energy that's all you need to do is hit this energy select until you've gotten to the point you want to go and then once you hit charge you'll see again the prescribed dose is ready to go hit the charge i'm clear you're clear we're all clear and deliver that shock My patient is unresponsive and has no pulse. Call 5555, report an MSET, and get me the crash cart and AED. The AED has arrived, powering on. I need to connect by first disconnecting from the test plug and connecting the patient to the quick combo electrodes. I'm an ACLS provider. I'm ready for ACLS mode. Opening the door. I see the patient is in V-fib. We need to shock. Charging to 200 joules. I'm clear. You're clear. We're all clear. Energy delivered. We've completed a cycle and it's time to shock again, charging up to 250 joules. Charging. I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear. We're still in V-fib and the provider is asked to go to the maximum of 360. I'm charging to 360. Charging.
I'm clear. You're clear. We're all clear. Energy delivered. And that is how to defibrillate a patient with the LifePak 20. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.